YouTube. Today I'm here to do Support Tuesday Volume 3. This one won't probably be the same orders that the last ones because really I haven't really got that many Support um, Tuesday people to um, talk about. So let's get into it anyway. Now the first thing I want to I want to shout out this person because every time that I'm here okay I live here in Vegas and every time that I want to go have fun go out to the club um, I hit up this guy, and his name is Eddie Mr. VIP, um, so if you ever look on my Facebook, or you my friends on Facebook, go to him, his name is Eddie Mr. VIP, send him a friend's request, he's a promoter for the Hookah Palace here in Las Vegas, real cool dude, real, I mean, like, real cool dude, so, if you, like I said, if you ever hear, I like to support him, because he's not only, like, a supporter, I mean, a promoter for the club, he's, like, a real, like, go-getter, he's the type of person, and he don't just sit on his ass and wait for nothing to happen, he, he making things happen for him and his family here in Vegas, so, I give him all props, he just got, um, today, his little slot on the radio to, um, promote the Hookah Palace, um, they do on Tuesday nights, they have like a comedy night for $10, so if you're ever in town and want to hear some good comedy, they have the guy from MTV, Spanky Hayes, he do, he here on Tuesdays, so if you're here, go check him out, they also serve food now, so hey, I ain't mad at that, but yeah, the Hookah Palace is a real cool ass chill spot, um, like you can do hookah there, you can drink, you can party, um, if you like hip-hop music and you ain't ready to fist pump, that's the place to party at in Vegas. So, hit them up. And like I said, ladies, this is for y'all. Mr. Mister VIP is for y'all. It's not... If dudes, if you want to go to the Hookah Palace, you call the goddamn Hookah Palace to get on your guest list. They have really good deals for guys, too, I am going to say. But, um, Mr. VIP is for y'all, ladies. So, ladies, if you ever come to Vegas and you want to go have fun at the Hookah Palace, hit them up. Um, also, the Hookah Palace plays, you know, DJ Mizzy Matt from Bad Girls Club, um, season eight, I think, he was going to the little short girl, Gia, yeah, he plays there, um, he's a DJ there, he, they also have a girl DJ named DJ Kelly J, she's awesome, play really good music, both of them play really good music, I like to go there to see, um, DJ Mizzy Matt, cause he played, like, once he get on his spin tables, the music just go hard, I mean, when I say go hard, the music go hard, y'all know, I love music, I like the party, I just don't like the party where it's drama, and I've never been to the Hookah Palace where it's been no drama, no fights, no none of that, everybody there is to have fun, I don't give a damn where you come from, part of the world, when you come to Vegas, especially if you're black, you're gonna go to the Hookah Palace, and you're gonna go have fun. So, if you're ever in town, hit me up. We can all go. No problem. Um, someone hit me up. They have a blog that they want you guys to check out. It's called My Two Cents. Um, it's called um, The Two Cents. I'm sorry. So, go hit them up. Their blog up. Um, I'm trying to get their website. It's at uh, The Sense of... The Sense of a Urine Ur Urban Night. Okay. That's what it is. The sense of urbanite.com. Go check them out. They have the latest gossip, um, celebrity gossip, entertainment news, things that we do here on vlogs. They do it on the blogs. So go check them out. Also check in westerncity.com with my girl Siobhan Sharp. Siobhan Sharp also has a YouTube channel here, like I told y'all before. So she also has a blog site. Tell you all the latest gossip too. Go check her out. Let her know I sent you. Um, speaking of Vegas. Now, y'all know, if y'all follow me on Twitter, I go hard for the radio station out here called Hot 97. Um, it's called Hot 97.5 Vegas. I go hard for them. And why I go hard for them is because they cool-ass radio DJ personalities. Um, my girl Mia Moore works for them. Y'all always will see me saying on Twitter, waking up to Mia Moore and um, Radio Miggy. I wake up to them because now they didn't change my girl time. She was from 10 to 3, but now she like from 5 in the morning to 10 in the morning. So, I wait, when I wake up to get my kids up for school, my radio goes straight on her. I got an app on my phone for Hot 97.5. Like I said, 
if you um don't live in the Vegas area, you can still listen to their music, still support my girl. Um, you can do it on TuneIn app radio. You can do it on the Hot 97 app. They have an app out, so if you're on Android, iPhone, whatever, you can still get their app. Um, and you can also listen to them on your computer for kvegas.com. I don't work for um, Hot 97.5. I just promote my girl, um, Mia Moore, and Radio Miggy. I love them. They also have, I mean, when I say they have radio personalities, they're just like the YouTubers where they talk back, they retweet you, they conversate with you. I go to the club. I party with them. they real cool people. You know what I'm saying? So they have Mia Moore. They have Mr. Bob. Mr. Bob Beyond. DJ Mizzy Mac worked for them. Um, who else worked? Lady G works for them. Juicy, um, uh, Juicy J worked for them. Not Juicy J. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of different personalities work for them. And I listen to them all, but my girl Mia Moore is who I really go hard for. That's my girl. We party together. Love her. Really cool personality. Y'all check her out. She's here on, um, y'all can even look up Hot 97.5 on YouTube. Also, and, tell them I sent you, and also, um, me and Moore, Hot 97, also on Twitter, so follow them on Twitter. Like I said, this is, even though they're here in Vegas, they cool all over the world, um, and you can hear them all over the world, play good music. Can't go wrong with that. Um, I have a chef I want to shout out. His name is John Odie. He lives in Florida. I think he lives in Miami. I don't want to be wrong, but I know he lives in Florida. Hook, um, look him up. Um, his name is John Odie. I went to high school with him, and I was surprised to see that he was a chef now because he was a football player when he was in high school. So I was like, whoa, big, big, big turnaround. But, oh my God, his recipes are amazing. So look him up, Jeff Sean. Chef John Odie, he puts up recipes for different um, meals, whether they southern meals, whether they five-star restaurant meals. He's a really, really good, talented chef. He's been in a lot of different um, competitions. He's won a lot, a lot of different competitions. Really amazing, cool, cool dude. So check him out. Um, if you're in the Long Beach, Compton, LA, if you can get to Long Beach, I'm just saying, California area. My girl is, um, have a little girl's drill team. If you got some boy drummers, if you got some girl drummers, I don't care. They're looking for little kids ages five and up. Their, um, drill team is called Straight Certified. My little, my daughter used to be in their group until we moved to Vegas. Bomb drill team. Um, if you guys want to know any more information about that, hit me up on my Facebook and I can get you that information or M D um, DM me or whatever, and I can get you that information. But if you're in a competent area and you want to put your child up in a good drill team that's just like up and coming and starting, but they bomb as hell because their teachers used to be a drill team. So hook, go go look them up. Straight certified. Me and my baby gonna always be straight certified. I'm always roll with that drill team. So. Yeah, if you're on my Facebook, look up Kita, and she can give you the information, or you can in inbox me, and I can get you the information also. Um, also, Friday, no, on April the 11th, if you're in the L.A. area, and um, I would like for you guys to go out and support my nephews, my little cousins. They have a gospel little praise, um, like a little gospel band or whatever, you know, they play at churches. They got a little group. And they call Praise, P-R-A-I-Z-E. And they're um, having a, their second annual Jersey night at Triumph Church. The address is 7660 Compton Avenue. Um, if you need any more information, you can hit me up or you can hit up Danielle um, Barnes on Facebook. They're having, like I said, they're having their second Jersey night. You can wear Jersey, come comfortable. You ain't got to dress up for church. And they're going to play really good gospel music. They're going to have rappers, different performers there. Um, and I just want to support my little nephews and my cousins because these are young men that can be doing anything out in the streets, but they'd rather play music for God. So, hey, I'm going to shout you out and I'm going to support you. So if you're in the L.A. area and you, I think that the show started at like 6 or 7, um, if you want inf more information, hit me up. I'll let you know. I know this is last minute, but 
I really want to support my nephews. So, go support them. Ages from probably, um, I want to say their ages around 11 to like 18. And I'm saying, these little young men can be talking to girls out there doing God knows what, getting girls pregnant. They could be out there game banging. They could be out there stealing. But anytime some boys are out there trying to serve God, we need to support them. Just saying. Um, what else? Okay. My, uh, if you go look up on YouTube and go look up G Flame Bugatti, that's my, um, my little play brother or whatever. I've been calling him my brother probably since he was in the ninth grade. I'm a little older than him. But, Back in high school, he's uh, we always claim each other's brother and sister. So, I'm going to support his music. He got good music. Go look him up on YouTube. Go look him up on Facebook. Up and coming artist. Really, really cool dude. Really good family man. Regardless of if he's a rapper, he's a really good family man. Really good hustler. If you're in the L.A. area, he got some little promotion for a club that you can get into. I'm just saying. Um, hit him up. Like I said, G Flame Bugatti. All right. Last but not least, I want to go to my home girl. Like I always, I always shout this girl out on my support Tuesdays. Is my girl China Salier? She got the books Hood Girl One and Two. She's also having a black, um, uh, what is it called? Black Writers on Tour. It's in Carson. It's April the nineteenth from nine a.m. to six a.m. Um, p.m. at the Carson Center in Carson. The address is eight hundred one East Carson. Um. Go support her. You can get Hood Girls 1 and 2. They also will have other authors and writers out there. You can probably pick up they book, see what writers are all about and stuff like that. So go support her. Um, she's also accepting manuscripts for her publishing company company called Queen Seeps Publishing. If you want your if you have a book coming out or you want your book published, hit her up at Queen C. Let me see. Queen C pub submissions at chinasalier.com let me tell you what her qualifications are you have to um she like i said she's accepting manuscripts they have to be 12 i'm sorry about that outside 12 uh to 14.5 um you can submit the first five chapters to see you know if she's interested if you want to get your book published you got to uh, submit the whole manuscript but yeah if you need more information, you can hit her up at China Salier on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Queen C Publishing on Twitter. Um, yeah, hit her up and she can give you a little bit more details than I can. She also has a book coming out. Well, not her, but she's published a book called Half Heart, Half Money. And it's by this author guy named Trayvon Poole. And I'm hoping I'm saying your last name right cool dude really really cool dude and this is a real hood novel this is a book from a real hood dude like he's out that life now but he was in that life so this is a book even though it's a fictional book he was about that life so he know exactly what he's talking about in this book it's not just like authors never been about that life and they're writing a book he's been about that life so he know about what's going on in his book just like China and Sally or Hood Girls 1 and 2. She grew up in the hood. She know about the hood. So she can write about that kind of stuff. Let me hear if it in this before I go outside and cuss this man out. Um, anyway, this is my support Tuesday, Volume 3. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Oh, I'm going to go. Okay. Um, email me if you have anything that you will want me to do on Support Tuesdays at Miss Nika's at gmail.com or you can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, DM me if you have it. Send me a link. I'll look at it. I'll check it out. And then I'll support you on my next volume of Support Tuesdays. Thank you guys for everybody that's been sharing this video and liking this part of the segment. Um, hopefully we have more people to submit their stuff and I can talk about or I can just go find more people to support. Whatever. Um, follow me on everything I do is by the ghetto beauty a n i t h e. Follow my girl Ashley Miller 1987, Mike B 801, Chemo. Um, I think he go Dino Boy Paris. I think that's his uh, YouTube name. Don't don't kill me. You new to the YouTube world? Shit, I know you by Chemo. But yeah, support him. Like I said before, we trying to get his numbers up. Um, 
Alright, you guys. Oh, and special, and special K all day. She's back too on YouTube. So you guys go support her. She don't have that many subscribers, and she's a really cool little girl. So I mean, not like that, but a little. I mean, a cool chick. So go um support her. I didn't mean to call you a little girl. Alright, you guys. Peace out.